laughed at him because he wasn't dancing this morning, and then he just. I, I you know, he doesn't do it on camera, Ever. but when the graphics are up for Pop News, Wit does a kind of dance that makes me think his neck is like. <laughs> night at the Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury in there. Little bit Roxbury. All right, Diane Macedo, what's going on, Pop? It is time for Pop News, everybody, and congratulations are in order for Ed Sheeran on many fronts. So the singer is confirming that he married his longtime love, Cherry Seaborn. Sheeran revealed that news during an interview talking about his highly anticipated album, Number Six Collaborations Project. The album dropped a little more than 24 hours ago, featuring partnerships with artists like Justin Bieber, Cardi B, Bruno Mars, Chance the Rapper, Camila Cabello, Travis Scott. Wow. Sheeran also released the music video for his collaboration with Scott called Antisocial. Let's take a look. Something, oh, something, oh, something I wanna buy. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, I can't revive, yeah. Won't let nothing come in between me and the night. So the video has Sheeran playing dress up once again, like the last one we saw. This time he's making some movie references, and it ends with an argument over who gets the last French fry, something we may be recreating. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It's a little pop news foreshadowing. All for right. Tease. Out there. A deep tease. <laughs> and speaking of singing, Chris Pratt showed off his vocal talent the other night. The actor surprised patrons at a couple of bars in Nashville, taking the stage and proving he knows a little something about going country. <laughs> So he made these surprise appearances, one at Tootsie's Orchid Lounge, another at Robert's Western World, seeing Garth Brooks and Johnny Cash. My question is, was this just for fun or maybe practice for an upcoming oh, role? A little liquid courage, yeah. perhaps? I don't know. We'll see. Those are it's two quite the like, tour. well-established honky tonks, too. There yeah. we go. It's really <laughs> annoying that he's so good-looking, can act so well, and, and now can tall. sing. He's <laughs> rather <laughs> talented. Yeah. Yeah. I and like I think it. his hair's real, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just jokes. Just yeah. jokes, just yeah. jokes. All right, and audiences <laughs> may be able to yeah, meet the real. Flintstones all over again. <laughs> there it is. A number of entertainment sites report that a new primetime animated adult series is in the works. Fred, Wilma, Pebbles, Dino, Barney, Betty, and Bam Bam, a.k.a. the modern Stone Age family, will all be in tow. The Flintstones originally ran for six seasons starting in 1960. Warner Brothers Animation is set to be behind the move along with actress Elizabeth Banks' production company. So we're going to have to wait and see how that all pans out. But we should love that show. Again. Yeah, me too. And if that doesn't have you excited, well, this will. I it can actually eat this. National French Friday, Day, everybody, or as my husband calls them, chips. And to inspire some creativity, we have K-Town fries here from Mock Bar. They come with Korean red chili paste, kimchi, nori mm. flakes, and mm. scallions. So you can enjoy love your it. French fries however you like. Maybe you could go classic and just enjoy them with some ketchup, whatever you like. And no Dan is eating. Have we, I mean, Dan, I this is a big day on GMA. Happy they're, French they're Friday. Vegan. We also won't be able to talk to anybody with kimchi breath this early morning. <laughs> right. right. So they are spicy. delicious, though. It's blowing my two payback. Yeah. <laughs> Kidding. This is my real hair. It's really on there. Just a joke. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.